Hi everybody, this is Pete Ford here to talk today about Neapolitan six chords. Neapolitan six chords are, uh, a lot of people want to call these like flat two six chords, or chords built on the, the lowered second degree of the, either the major scale or the, uh, or the, the minor scale. Um, and yet, uh, this isn't something that we really want to see condoned. We, we do want to say um, it is borrowed from the Phrygian mode. It's, the, uh, it's a major chord built on the lower second degree of the scale. Um, and uh, But what we do instead, instead of flat two six, we call this the N six, so it's the Neapolitan six. And the Neapolitan six chord, um, what do we need to say about it? It's, uh, if we're in the key of, say, C, uh, I'm gonna do this right here. Key of C, um, it's going to be a D flat major triad. And yet, it's usually going to have the bass note, I'll go ahead and put a bass clap here. The bass note is going to be the third of the chord. The third of the chord is also the note that's doubled in the Neapolitan VI chord. So, um, um, it is a first inversion, major chord, but built on the lowered second scale degree. Now, generally, when we see the, the Neapolitan VI chord, uh, this is a predominant chord, so usually it will go into the V chord. So a real common pattern would be Neapolitan VI going to V, and then that will proceed to a I chord, to a tonic chord. Most of the time we'll find these in minor keys, even though I did that in C major there. Um, so let me do uh, let me do a little example here um, of a Neapolitan six chord, and let's put this in uh, C minor just for the just to, to do it here. So first of all, I need three flats to be in the key of C minor, um, B flat, E flat, A flat, and so the Neapolitan six chord is has a bass line of fa so do generally. So the fa is this bass line that sounds kind of innocuous, sounds like it's not doing much. Um, it's your bass could be a four, five, one sound. But we have this very colorful uh, melody line that we like to put with this. And that is, uh, if, we, if we put um, syllables with it, it would be ra, ti, do. So what we have here, we have ra, which is, um, is the D flat, T here, which is the uh, leading tone in the uh, harmonic minor scale we're in, and then Do here. What is really neat about this is here's our Do, here's our tonic note that we're going to end up with. We start a half step above it, a half step below it, and then we end up on the tonic note. Um, so we usually double the bass note, which is the third of the chord. So again, I'll put N6 to five to one. Um, so if we double the bass note, how about if I put an F right there? It's a D flat, F, A flat chord and I'll put an A flat here. There's our beautiful Neapolitan VI chord. Uh, let's put um, G, um, we can put a, uh, we can double the G here actually, so it's going to be the same note twice. And uh, let's put a D here. And then, um, I guess I could do that to make the G doubled. And then we're going to go to the one chord here, and this will be, um, you be like that. So we have this, Ra, ti, do, kind of a sound. Again, the Neapolitan six chord is a pre-dominant chord, so the five is the dominant. Neapolitan six comes before dominant, five and then one. Let me play it at the piano here. I'll play this example. And so in this case, we have, and then, This uh, encircling the tonic note here, and yet the bass again is this kind of innocuous fa so do, and so we have this nice little beautiful uh, colorful thing that happens. Um, composers were using this as early as the Baroque period, probably in the Renaissance as well. Um, but all you have to remember is it's a chord built on the lowered second degree of the major scale, or the lowered second degree of the minor scale. Um, and it's borrowed from the Phrygian mode. Major triad has fa in the bass, and composers liked having this melody line of ra, ti, do, half step above do, half step below do, 
and it comes, goes to five, goes to one. Um, if we were in another key, all you have to think about is if it's, if say we're in A minor, built on the lowered second scale degree, it would be a B flat major chord. If you're in the key of um, um, E minor, it would be an F major chord in first inversion. So all these are first inversion chords, and um, that's all you have to remember. Nothing to do with ice cream, just beautiful chords. Um, thank you very much.